Howdy y'all, it's Jordan Smith. We are here at the first annual Build Show Live. It's a super cool show, and we're walking around trying to find the products that are a best fit for our affordable, high-performance home series that will be coming out later on this channel. Let's take a look and see what they've got here and see what makes the most sense when you're trying to build a very high-performance home but not break the bank. This is an interesting product here. It's built with foam and their core business is selling custom shower bases. So any drain, any location, they work with any manufacturer. You tell them what you're wanting to do, they make it same day and then ship it out to you. They're out of Houston, so from Austin, I can get it like next day, any shower pan that I want, custom built out of foam. They also do loungers and benches and anything that you want built with foam that then you go and tile over in your shower. And then this is a really cool product. It's a shim system that is able to give you how thick of a shim you need for your backing board. Because if you've ever done any tile work, especially on remodels, you know that the framing is not perfectly square. If you have any type of bow in your stud, if your studs aren't completely square with one another and straight and true, it's a pain to get your tile work to come out right. The old school way of doing that is you would build up a mud base vertically to make sure that that's completely square and true, which is a great way of doing it, but it's very time consuming and takes a lot of skill. This system here, you have a gauge and you set up a laser on the floor and then you set your gauge here once it's zeroed out and then the further out that your stud is, it gives you your color codes. So plum, green, red, black, yellow, white, wherever my laser hits on this gauge, I know that if this stud is back by this much, I need a yellow shim. And then I put these shims on 16 inch centers. Then I'm able to put my backer board on top of that. And I've got it completely square, straight, plumb and true. This is a really clever way of solving a very common problem and allowing more less skilled tradespeople to do high quality work instead of learning the old world techniques, which I love. And if you can afford it, and if you have somebody who can do that, that's great. But if not, this gives the guys who are just coming on a way of doing very high quality work with a very simple, straightforward tool. This is cool, built with foam. This is a really cool product that I saw for the first time at Construction Instruction about a year ago. It is a Rhea duct. It's actually a whole network of products that gets the air from your air handler to the room. If you know anything about putting in air conditioning, you know that there's two fundamental flaws that happens in the US all the time. One, it's not properly designed, and then two, it's never commissioned. Nobody ever checks to see if the, the unit is actually performing the way that it's supposed to be performing. So in order to install a good air conditioning system, you have to design it. You have to know exactly how much airflow every room needs based on the demand, the heat load of that room and then you install the equipment based off that design, and then you need to commission the system. You need to check to make sure that the airflow that is required by the design is actually getting in to those rooms. Very difficult if you're using a standard uh, flex duct system, unless you put dampers at the plenum, and most people don't, and nobody ever checks to see if the airflow is right anyway. They install it and they leave. This is changing that. This is a rea duct. You notice it's a lot smaller than a standard six, eight inch um, insulated duct. And this is the only size that they sell. So if you need a lot of airflow, you put in a lot of these tubes from the air handler to the room that you need a lot of airflow in. If you need less airflow, say like in a bathroom, maybe you just have one tube going to that room. So you size it based on how many of these ducts you need per room. It's not changing the size of ductwork. They have a software that plugs right into WriteSoft that will tell you how many of these for your duct design you need for each room. And then this is how it bolts together. So we've got 45s, which I love. I really like that, uh, that 45 here because now as you're running through a conditioned attic or because this is so small, you can actually do a chase underneath your attic. If you have a traditional ventilated attic, you're able to put this in a conditioned chase. So you don't have insulation on this, but you don't need to because this is going into conditioned space. 
So in a conditioned attic where you build a chase in the ceiling that is conditioned or you put it in the floor that is conditioned, but it's not insulated, you want to put all of your ductwork in a conditioned attic regardless of what technology you use. But this one has no insulation and needs to be in a conditioned space. But it, since it's so small, you can build those chases very easily. And then you have clicks together like this and you have dampers on every single one of your registers so you're able to vary the flow. So once you've done your design, you know how many of these tubes you need per room, and then when you're commissioning the system, because you will be commissioning the system, right? You are checking to make sure that the airflow that you need to have is actually getting there, and when it's not exactly right, you're able to change this right at the unit, which is so much better than most of the ways that people do it. I really like this system. They're taking off. I mean, they've got, their investors are some of the biggest builders in the US. So people like Lennar are invested in this system. So you're gonna see this infiltrating the HVAC universe very quickly. Really good product. I really like this HVAC duct work system. We're here at the Roseburg booth and the reason that this is part of the best of show is because I built that. And of course it's gonna be the best of show. This is showing all of their products. Roseburg is a from the forest type company. They grow their own dug fur and then they harvest it and they make studs and they make LVLs and they make eye joists. And then they also have started making this thing called Armorite. And Armorite is an exterior trim. It's exterior interior, but it's fully waterproof. 50 year warranty on this thing. That is wild. 50 years that it can sit outside and you're not gonna have any problems with it. It is an exterior MDF. And I know if you've ever worked with MDF, inside your home, you know that if it gets wet, it just goes to pieces. It's not a very good uh, water resistant material. Don't confuse interior MDF with an exterior MDF like this. This is engineered wood meant to be outside. And they, uh, what I like about it is it's got a sanded surface. Here is a little more aggressive sanded and this is a little bit more fine. So you don't have this fake wood embossing that some of the non-wood companies love to put on theirs, right? If you're making something out of cement, you want it to look like wood, so you put this heavy wood embossing on it, and it's just fake. Be yourself, man. Um, if, you're, if you're a sanded product, just be a sanded product. Don't try to put that big wood embossing on it. And it looks, it looks really nice, it really does. This is, their, uh, this is just like a, a T111. This is an exterior plywood. Um, very common in like shed work. And then of course, we had to go with our buddies Atlas for the exterior foam. This is poly ISO. What I love about poly ISO is it has the highest R value per inch that you are going to find in an insulating product. So this is a um, three quarter inch uh, poly ISO and then over Tyvek and over more Roseburg sheathing. This is just uh, plywood. And then they've got, like I said, they've got their LVLs, their studs, their eye joist, all of the wood products that you can make out of Doug fur in an engineered form or in a stud form you can get from Roseburg. So really cool booth because I did it and great products. Howdy y'all, it's Jordan Smith on at the Prosico booth. I mean, we're here at the, the Prosico booth and Prosico sells a fluid applied WRB. So WRB, weather resistant barrier. There's several different ways of Achieving that, you can have a wrap system, you can have an integrated system like ZIP where you, the, the WRB is on the board, or you can do a fluid applied system to where you have your sheathing substrate and it can be, you know, if you're building down in Florida, it can be CMU. If you're doing commercial, it can be a gypsum glass product. If you're building more residential, it can be OSB or plywood. That's your structure and your primary um, backing for your air and water barriers, but by themselves, they're gonna let water in for the zip product, it'll let it in through the seams, or for the OSB, it's gonna just deteriorate over time, so you gotta get it covered up. The Prosico R-Guard comes in a few different flavors. Step one on all of your four by eight sheets is you wanna use fast flash. So you wanna seal all of those seams because as this building moves, you don't want those seams to open up over time. And then they have the Cat 5. This is a very sticky, gummy feeling, very stretchable product that is can be applied in the rain. I mean, it can be raining. In fact, if it's really dry, you may want to actually use a mister to damp your 
OSB substrate before you apply that to get really good adhesion. It loves the water, but it's expensive. Well, all of this is expensive, but this is very expensive. The least expensive version is the Spray Wrap MVP, and this is an acrylic version here. The acrylic version does great once it's dry, it's gonna be a very good WRB, but you cannot apply it when it's wet. The other thing about this is the Cat5 is going to be able to stretch and conform and deform without breaking versus the, the Spray Wrap MVP. It's a lot more brittle. I compare it here to, you know, your, your Spray Wrap MVP is more like a gum, right? So ha, it broke. <laughs> it will not break, it will not break, it broke. Um, it, it's more like a gum, so you've got a lot of a lot of ability to deflect. Your spray wrap MVP is much more like an M and M. So this is like a thin candy coating, and you're going to be able to crack it when you give pressure. So it's very important for the spray wrap MVP to be detailed before you put that on with the flash fast flash. You want to do that for both of the things, but if you have anything that has you're applying it in inclement weather where it's going to be raining or you have a lot of movement in the building and you're worried about over time something cracking and opening up, you want to do a Cat5. But if you're doing something on CMU and you're applying it in a dry state and you're trying to save money, then the Spray Wrap MVP is going to be the way you want to go. I hope that clears it up. I know that for me it was very confusing to know when I picked which one, but if it's wet, and it's going to move cat five if it's dry and it's stable spray wrap mvp especially if you're trying to save some cash if you need to stick something together and seal it at the same time sascho probably makes the product for you this is lexel this is a fantastic clear or white product that will stick to anything wet it's exterior it's interior it stretches like crazy it sticks like crazy However, if you are putting it on cold surfaces, it's great, but if you're putting it on hot surfaces, say a roof jack coming through a roof and it's really hot, you wanna go with through the roof. Again, you can get it in clear, white, and black. Super stretchy, they also have a brush-on version. Super stretchy, and because it's a little bit thicker, it has a higher viscosity, it's not gonna run as much when you're doing it on a hot exterior surface. Once it sets up, this is fine for heat, but before it's set up, if it's too hot, you might get a little runs. That's where through the roof comes in. If you are doing exterior or interior paint and you are needing a stretchy caulk, big stretch. You can't beat big stretch. I mean, it is incredible. I used it in my home where I put a wood countertop directly up to a wall and because this whole big eight foot wood countertop is wood, it shrinks and expands as the seasons change and Big Stretch just, I mean, it keeps up year after year after year. No cracking, great stuff. More flex. We use this all the time. We're actually gonna be using it on the affordable high performance house. Um, I love this stuff because it is a caulk that is stretchy, but it looks just like mortar. So anywhere that you have an expansion joint, a control joint, a corner, anywhere that you want it to look like mortar, but you don't want it to crack like mortar, more flex is great. They use it a lot for repairs. I haven't used it in that situation yet, but things like hose bibs and electrical outlets, anywhere that you're needing to caulk it and you need flexibility, this is great on a mortar, uh, on a mortar application. Slab, exact same thing as this. It's just for concrete. Clean seal, this is cool. This is a no mold, no mildew caulk. The difference between like a silicone no mold and no mildew, mold and mildew will not grow on silicone, but they will grow on all of the stuff that sticks to silicone. So when you're taking a shower, all of the gross stuff on you goes off of you and sticks to the silicone. And then the mold eats the gross stuff that used to be on you and is now on the silicone. This actually has enzymes in it, which turns into soap and will break down those oils and wash that away. So the, the, the adhesive, the sealant has no food on it for the bacteria, the mold and the mildew to eat on. Really cool product there. And then finally, exact color. This is our favorite interior caulk because it comes as a system. You have a water-based paint. You put your color in here. You put that color from here into here. You shake it up based on the instructions. And then after that, this 
caulk will be exactly the same color of your trim or your wall paint, whatever you put in here. Really great system. I thought that it would be a, a like a desaturated, not quite as vivid because you're, you are diluting it. I don't know how they do it. I don't know what the magic is, but when you color match it, it is color matched. Sashco does great work, high quality products. My complaint, my, my non, um, non-solicited complaint is it sort of looks like a, as seen as on TV, like when you see Big Stretch here on the shelf, you're like, come on, man. It looks like Willie Mays just sold it to you or something. Once I started using it, they're all very, very high quality product. The marketing team decided to make each one feel like its own product line in sort of this more flashy thing. Don't hold that against them. They are professional grade products and you can buy them at big box stores. So you're not having to go to specialty commercial grade stores to find them. Sashko. For our affordable high performance home, we chose a Anderson 100 series window, which we're gonna talk about back over here in a second. But before we get there, I wanted to show you this accordion door system. In this version, it's a pass-through window. So I'm in the kitchen here, you're outside on the patio there, and I can open this whole area up to be able to serve and interact inside and outside the window. But it goes from a very small version like this all the way up to a 16 foot tall, 60 foot wide option, which is incredibly big. So if you're wanting to open up half of your house and make the indoor outdoor distinction just go away, super cool option here from Anderson. When we're talking high performance though, you can't get much better than their A-Series triple pane glass system. This is passive rated. This is Energy Star rated. It's a fantastic window. In my opinion, I wouldn't do it in a double hung because I'm really concerned about air sealing. And although their air sealing on a hung window is going to be as good as anybody, I think the better option is to go with a casement version. The, what I like about the casement is we have all of these locks here, 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 and then hinges down the side here that when I close this and I lock it, you can see when I lock it here, you see that get tight and pull up against these seals. That creates a very airtight barrier. So when we're building very tight houses, the casement is the superior product. And this is a great product in a very affordable version. This is the 100 series window. So this is gonna be at the lower end of what Anderson offers, but they're not sacrificing things on glass or on the glass coatings or on the ceiling technology. It's really about the materials and the form and the beauty of the product. So if you have the means and you wanna go with an all wood or an aluminum clad wood window, that's great you're gonna get a very good looking window and a high performing window. If you don't have the budget for that, you're still gonna get all the performance with a lower end Anderson window like the 100 series, but you miss out on some of those really cool aesthetic and the, the, the feel of natural wood. So in my opinion, if you have the means, go up to the nicer one, but if you're trying to save money, you will not go wrong going with the 100 series. And that's why we picked it for the affordable high performance home. So those were the products that we thought were the absolute best for our affordable, high performance home. These are things that will perform at a very high level, but don't necessarily cost the most money in the market. Overall, the Build Show Live event has been, in my opinion, very successful. It feels a lot like JLC, which if you're familiar with that show is very focused on hands-on owner operator carpentry companies. This show feels very hands-on, but from an owner-operator building company. So somebody like Matt, who owns a building company and is making sure that all of the details have to be done right using the best products available, they can come to this show and they can learn what products are available, how to install them correctly, and for people like me who are trying to build an affordable high-performance home, it's helped me figure out different ways that we can build a very high-performing house 
that doesn't have to cost millions of dollars. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel because all of the affordable high performance home series will be on this channel. Comment below with any things that you think would be a good fit for that affordable high performance home. And join us next time as we endeavor to build better.